What's up guys, today I wanted to show you five ways that you could improve your Instagram The introduction's always the hardest, talking to this damn microphone. What's up everybody, today I wanted to show you five ways to improve your Instagram game starting in 2018. Coming up. The first tip that I have for you to actually upping your game on Instagram is upgrading your camera. Just taking a picture on here, or it, it doesn't have to be a DSLR like, I'm shooting on just a point-and-shoot camera is gonna have better quality than your basic iPhone so taking a picture on here transferring it to here is gonna do much better for the image quality than if you just snap it on your iPhone also going along with that first point the majority of people just take their phone point it at something and snap a picture Try to think outside the box. Try to actually set your shot and move to a different angle. Don't do the obvious. Um, you see, you look up vacation pictures to a certain place because you're going there. The majority of people have the exact same picture standing in the exact same spot, facing the exact same way. It's the same picture over and over and over. Look at things a little differently. Go to a different location, go to a different spot, bend down, stand up on something, climb a tree, do whatever. Just get to a different location because just because it's the most obvious picture doesn't mean it's the best picture. Now my go-to editing software is Photoshop Lightroom. Uh, Lightroom CC is the best editing software that I've been able to find. Now it does cost money, that's going to charge you monthly, but there are a lot of good free apps out there or at least cheaper apps that will get you the same exact thing done. Um, like I said, I, I personally use Lightroom and Photoshop. Between those two, I can do everything that I personally need to do. Like I said, before I ever had Photoshop or, or means to get Photoshop and Lightroom, I was editing on an app called Visco. It's V-S-C-O. Fantastic. I cannot say enough about that app. I used that app for probably a year and a half before I ever moved on to anything else. Now with that being said, anything I couldn't do on Visco, I used an app called Snapseed. I'll link all of these below. Uh, it's a gr another great app that you can store pictures on and it has many, many different ways of editing pictures. I'm not going to show you my editing workflow today. I'm saving that for another video uh, that will come out and I'm going to show you the ins and outs of Photoshop and Lightroom and what I do in my workflow and what I do to get my pictures and videos out on time. Now this next part actually goes into a, a little more depth and a little more work. Um, hashtags. Instagram is huge on hashtags. It's how people find your picture and what you're, they're actually looking for. So you need to do some searches and find out what the biggest hashtags are to get you the most views on your pictures. Um, if you just post a picture on Instagram, only your followers are going to see that picture unless you have a hashtag. That hashtag is what someone searches a word and it pulls up any hashtags that have been put on pictures to say, let, let's say you, you post a picture of a dog. That picture you put, hashtag German Shepherd, whatever. People are going online, they're looking for German Shepherds. They're going to search German Shepherd. Since you've put that hashtag in there, it's going to pull up your picture, therefore getting you views, therefore getting you more likes. You need to search for what's going to be a good hashtag. You don't want to just make one up that um, only you're going to search for. So you want to do, do some research online. You can find the majority of hashtags that are being used. If you just type, start typing in a word on Instagram, it'll pull it up and it'll have a number right next to it of 2 million, 4 million, 5 million to show you how many pictures are actually in that category. Once you've actually found some hashtags that are good numbered, that are high up there, that you know people are searching for, you can put those on your pictures. Now, I would say like, I think I think Instagram now lets you put up to like 30 to 32 uh, hashtags. You don't need that many. Uh, putting 10 to 15, I would say is, is a good number to get your picture out there. Uh, any more than 20 that's that's just too much and it's crowding up the space that you have below um, especially if you want to write anything after it just stick around that 10 to 15 mark and you should be fine 
Now, let me recap really fast. Um, the first tip is taking the picture. And I know that's very obvious, but try not to take the most obvious picture and try taking it on something other than your phone to give it more of a better quality to the picture. Second, editing the picture. Get a really good editing software. You wouldn't want to take this amazing picture and then just throw a filter on it. That, it's gonna make it look horrible. You lose quality, you lose clarity, it's not good. So take an amazing picture, go outside of the box, go out, show your creativity. Use a really good editor to edit that photo afterwards. Find hashtags that people are actually searching for and people actually care about and put a good number on your picture to get it out into the universe. The fourth tip that I can give you for Instagram is your cohesiveness. Now, what by that I mean, what I mean by that is on your actual grid, your Instagram grid, it's hard to see on here. Um, you want your pictures to at least kind of blend together. You don't want Let's say, um, let's say you post pictures of food. You don't want to post a bunch of pictures of food and then all of a sudden a picture of a car. You don't want, same with, same as you don't want to be posting like travel vloggy pictures and then all of a sudden post pictures of food. It's okay, it's your Instagram, have fun with it and do whatever you want, post whatever you want. But if you're wanting to grow and you're wanting to get more likes on Instagram, you need to find a, a, a niche. Um, I know people and have friends that are, they literally just post food. So people that are looking for food are going to subscribe to your Instagram So because they're coming there to look for food. They're not coming to look for dog pictures. So if you want, make a Instagram for those things, for those things that you enjoy and you just want to put out there for fun. And then have an Instagram that you're wanting to work on and you're wanting to grow and maybe get branding deals. Because once you find your niche, you can post that and find an audience that is going to follow you and be true to those values. Choosing your pictures, you want them to be cohesive. You want them to go one after another. Um, you don't want the same picture. Don't mind me that. But you do want them to at least have the same type of edits. You don't want to go from this extreme to this extreme and it be extremely like when you can, you know, you've looked at some Instagrams and been like, man, this, this is hard to follow. You want to be able to look at an Instagram and it's, oh man, these all kind of match. They're all nice. They're neat. That's what people are looking for. It's more attractive to the eye. People are going to look longer. They're going to stay longer on your page. And they're going to be more likely to actually hit that follow button to see your work on a daily basis. My fifth and final tip is just have fun guys get out there and take pictures that's the majority of people's problems they're looking they're sitting here and they're just scrolling through social media and they're looking at these amazing pictures that people are posting on trips or vacations or traveling and they're like man why why don't I have that it's because you're not getting out there and doing it try to take pictures every single day record something create something every day have fun because that's what's going to make the difference in an amazing 2018 and just another year so i hope that this helped you guys out uh, i'm going to jump into computer and show a little bit more of these apps and stuff that i'm doing now but i hope that you got something out of this video if you did give it a thumbs up maybe think about subscribing i'm going to be doing videos like this every week and hopefully you come back for more so love you guys bye